satu. Good night, audience. Security. Share nama dengan from WhatsApp Indonesia tonight. Jakarta, October 4, 2017. For five minutes more, I will accompany you to listen some bright news and some actual news in this sunny morning. The first news is about corruption. And here is the first news about 10 years in jail such for Atul Atul. Corruption Eradication Commission, KPK prosecutors, have such a 10-year jail sentence and 250 million rupees in fines for inactive Banten Governor Ratu Atut Hosha for her alleged involvement in a graft case surrounding the election of the Bak region. According to KPK prosecutors, Atut deserves the sentences as she, as a governor, has failed to set an example of good and corruption-free governance. The defendant has heard the justice by bribing former Constitutional Court MK, Chief Justice Akil Mukhtar, KPK Prosecutor Eddie Hartaya said on Monday, August 2014, at the South Jakarta Corruption Court. In addition to the 10-year prison sentence and the fine, Eddie demanded that Atut's political rights to be revoked. Tubagus Sukatma, Atut's lawyer, considered the demand as too severe, particularly the part of revoking political rights because the demand was not based on the facts presented before the court. Tuntutan karena ini tidak sesuai dengan fakta-fakta persidangan, ditambah lagi ada permintaan ya yang disampaikan oleh JPU dalam tuntutannya itu untuk mengurangi hak-haknya ya, eh, apa mencabut haknya untuk dipilih maupun eh, memilih. Saya kira itu terlampau berlebihan dan tidak ada landasannya kemudian eh, klien kami itu diberikan hukuman. Ratu Atut Hosya was arrested for her suspected involvement in a graft tainted election dispute case of Lebak region at the Constitutional Court. Ratu Atut and her brother, Tubagus Heli Wardana, allegedly bribed former MK, Chief Justice Akil Mokhtar, with 1 million rupees to rule Amir Hamza and Kasmin Pair as the winner of the election on Lebak region. Ratu Atut Hosya has harmed the country with enormous losses, the losses caused by Ratu Atut Hosya, according to KPK prosecutors, to give a profit up to 3.859 billion rupees, as well as some people concerned, including her own brother, Tubagus Heli Wardana, who also got a fantastic profit to reach advantage of 50.83 billion rupees. In early September 2014, Jakarta Corruption Court sentenced Ratu Atut for a four-year prison term. The KPK prosecutors had asked for a 10-year prison term. The deputy chair of KPK, Bushro Mukoddas, commented that the sentence of four-year prison term was a light one given to the damage caused by Ratu Atut's actions. He said that the KPK would appeal to seek a heavier sentence anti-corruption organizations such as Indonesia Corruption Watch were also the critical of the judgment. Finally, I am Sherina Mandiangan and all crews of WhatsApp Indonesia tonight say Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Oh, you're